Welcome to Bomar Bow Hunting. I'm Sarah Bomar, and I'm so excited to bring you the most epic elk hunt we have ever been a part of. And this entire trip was made possible by Hunt and Fool and the services that they offer. And instead of me telling you everything that there is to know about them, check out this quick 30 second overview of all the services that they offer and why you should become a member today. You wait all year to tighten the laces on your favorite hunting boots. When you finally do, you want to make the most of every moment. We're here to help you make that happen. For more than 20 years, Hunt and Fool has been helping hunters dream, plan, and hunt. With a Hunt and Fool membership, you get unlimited access to our team of hunt advisors. We know that research turns good hunts into great hunts. And that's why we spend countless hours every year in the office and in the field. When you call us, you're talking to avid hunters you can trust. All right, guys, let me explain something to you. So we have been officially elk hunting now in Idaho for about seven minutes. And we've seen more bulls in seven minutes than we did in our entire first two trips that we hiked over 150 miles. It is absolutely amazing out here. I am so pumped to be here. I know Sarah is too. We can't thank John enough. Okay, on the right side. We spotted oh, another big one, guys. See him, you can see his antlers really good. Let's do this. Right, let's not let's not run up there. Neither one of those bulls are. I mean, they're not they're nice bulls, but we might have better options. Let's go over and see if we can look into the okay. school section here. And we just got to go up the road and kind of go for a quick little hike, and then we'll we'll look off because we'll be able to see it all there, and then we'll okay. have a better survey of where some of the things. Yeah. The bull that's up on the knob is worth considering. That bull is a good sized bull. It's a, you know, it's a two twenty bull. So that's, uh, but let's go see what else we can find. I'd like to see if we can find the. Calling, but the maybe the staghorn bull, maybe calling the staghorn bull. Yeah, the king, because <laughs> yeah. he's got the crown. Yeah. He's got it. Yeah, the king. I like that. King. We'll call him the king. The king. King. The king. The king of the ridge. All right, guys. Well, we had just enough time to get up here in glass, and we've seen, I don't even know, six, seven different big bulls. Like this is awesome, and uh, we didn't get a chance to put. A stalk on any of them they're just too far we just didn't have enough light but we have a perfect game plan for tomorrow and uh, if we could just get on any of these bowls tomorrow Sarah and I will both be absolutely ecstatic so tomorrow at first light we will be back out here and uh, let's hope we can find one of those big bowls it's our first morning here and it's actually pretty chilly which is good so we're on the same spot we were sitting last night and glassing and we are covered up and elk which is so cool so now we're just trying to figure out which one we're gonna go after the winds in our favor it should be fun this is a good bull really good one yeah look at this one let's uh let's go make our move this this bull's worth making a move oh, on yeah. First stock, we saw a 240 bull at 40 yards. And then now we've got a herd of elk up here. Oh, more of them there. Oh my god. They were down here on the water. Yeah. And they just moved up into the trees. So that's the ones we heard that you heard on yeah. the, at the end there. Yeah. Well, those bulls were back. Wow. Let's go guys, he's really killable. He's, I think he's, he's, he's gonna come off the 
this way is my guess. So you might come right to it. Sarah in on him, so. And we have the boss with us, so yeah. the pressure's really on yep. for me to deliver. Got my boss here. Just reel him right in. I'm pretty excited. Mr. Jared came up with us, and uh, yeah, we've got our target right where we expected. Now we just gotta go and execute. Yep. We saw the bull that we were after tonight and unfortunately we just had a herd of cows pin us down so we were pretty much just sitting the whole night. We had a cool interaction though with the calf and she was running around which was neat but we heard a lot of bugles just unfortunately they are not coming into us so tomorrow's a new day. It's our second morning here in Idaho and we're just glassing right now trying to find a plan. We've already spotted some really nice bulls so now we just gotta play the wind. Hopefully we can get on one.
It's the start of day four here in Idaho and we saw a ton of elk heading into the timber. We thought there might be a hot cow in there so we made our way towards the base and as soon as we stepped into that timber it sounded like a scene from Jurassic Park. the most insane elk audio we've ever experienced, I had a bull at 75 yards. Unfortunately, I knew the arc of my arrow would not have made that clearing. I'm only drawing 62 and a half pounds and I'm fairly short with a 27 inch draw length. And at that distance, I knew the arc of my arrow would be about 20 yards high. And those branches around him were less than 10. So instead of making the shot, potentially wounding this bull, we decided to circle around and hopefully get on him again. That bull was 30. Yeah. The big bull. Oh my god. <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. <sighs> well, we were, I mean, we are getting really close the audio, now. <laughs> the audio is off the charts. Dude. Yeah. We had an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to clear the set. I'm sorry. John. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> Well, we had a really awesome morning. Unfortunately, we just could not get close enough, but we're out here for evening number three, and we just spotted an awesome bull. So we're actually going up to where we were last night and hope we can make it happen. Just hung up at 120 yards and has been for the past hour. He's got 
got a few cows with him. It doesn't seem that aggressive. Unfortunately, he's just a little too far. There she goes. She's had enough of it. Oh, that was 
as it is. That, yeah, that's just unfortunate luck right there. Awesome evening we had him. We just had a little bow malfunction right at the last second of 45 yards. Super exciting, he finally came into us, our patients paid off, so really awesome evening. Nice bowl, but now we just gotta get a bigger one. <laughs> no problem. Okay, well that sucked. Um, that's bow hunting though, so we'll just get back after in the morning. morning at day six here in Idaho and we just spotted a super wide, super dark, really nice elk. We're gonna go after him right now. day five, right at last light, we saw him come up over the horizon. So we decided to make one final dash at him before we lost light. big wide bowl. I went full draw and unfortunately I just did not have a clear shot. Josh is a foot taller than me. He's running the camera so he has a much different vantage point than me and I just did not want to take that shot on such an impressive bowl and potentially wound him. The closest we got was 35 but his head was down. I didn't have a shot. At this point in the hunt, I am getting extremely defeated. I had the technical malfunction with my arrow. I've had several missed opportunities with these elk and it is just becoming extremely daunting. I am not sure if I'm ever going to get this done. 
over in the timber where we think the elk are going to come to. So we're feeling really good about the setup this morning. We made a door spot and the dam down here is where the elk like to drink in the morning. So we're hoping that we can get you in between what they're doing and when they go to bed. Well, we think the bulls came in and got a drink before uh, daylight, which is totally fine, but we, uh, we're gonna put a few mile loop on and see if we can find some more. It's pretty early in the day, so hoping that it works out. last day to hunt elk it is just becoming too much stress i am literally at my breaking point so this is my last evening to hunt and then i'm gonna let josh take over because i just can't do it anymore it's the evening of day seven here in idaho and we're actually set up pretty good for tonight we've got a pretty strong wind and where we're heading is where we left the elk this morning um we're staying on top of the rim and because the wind is coming up we're hoping that we can get down in with them where they're bedded in the timber hopefully get a shot because it's my last day of hunting so and then Josh takes over so hopefully I can get it done we can eat elk for dinner we're getting close we've got a few cows but Yards and obviously. 
120 yards, and every time he stopped drinking, the tree reaches inch closer and closer and closer, and I was finally able to get the shot, so. So we're, we're in idle and we can't use light and knock, so. Yeah, it did sound good. So, yeah. Ooh, so we're gonna give him some time. We're about 90% sure that we saw my bull go down, saw him fall, and we kept hearing him crash, and then we just heard silence. So we're gonna give him some time, we're gonna go back, get our packs, get everything that we need, give him some time, and then come back and hopefully get my bull. I can't believe the blood drew around. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I don't even know how to get Oh my gosh. He's huge. <laughs> we have worked so hard for elk over the past three years. I mean, we've hiked over 200 miles and hunted three different states, hunted probably 30 total days. And I'm gonna be honest, I really wanted to give up this morning. I had a mental breakdown and I'm like, I'm done. This is too freaking hard. We cannot get close to these things. And I had some opportunities earlier this week. One was a technical malfunction with my arrow and my rest. And I was just so, so down on myself. And oh my gosh, I got this one to come in at 20 yards. I seriously cannot believe it. This has been, I thought this was gonna be an impossible animal for me. And we got it done tonight on this beautiful, okay, we had a bet. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that little nub counts. That, look how freaking cool that is. Oh my God. 
What an amazing hunt and adventure and just insane week of hunting. We cannot thank Jared and John with Hunt and Fool for bringing us out on this elk hunt. Oh my gosh. Seriously incredible. I'm so excited because we have meat for the freezer now. We have elk meat. First elk ever. Huge thank you to Josh running the camera. Caught it all on film. It's an awesome okay. bull, babe. Same. Wow. I, I cannot believe you did it. I know. What a beast. He's huge. What a cool looking bull. I'm so proud of you, Sarah. Thanks. Seriously. Thank you. you worked so hard for this. We walked far. We walked a lot of miles. For this. 70 plus miles is what we've put on just this trip alone. And Sarah, you know, she's only 5'3, so her little, she, she takes like double the steps, steps to us guys. And uh, I just, I can't be a more proud husband right now, babe. Seriously. Thanks. No, just give me a hug. Mm. I'm so proud of you. Wow. What a great bull. He's so cool. 200 plus miles in elk country trying to get one of these with a bow. You know, uh, Sarah, we've had multiple opportunities where she could have killed one with a rifle and she didn't. You know, she toughed it out and stuck it, stuck it out with only a stick and string. Yep. And uh, it's, she got it done. That's so cool. I'm really impressed with your shot Thanks. too because <laughs> when Sarah had her shot, he stopped right in the opening, but he was quartering too. So Sarah only had about a four inch gap that she could shoot through. And I know I've personally seen Sarah shoot well over a thousand plus arrows this summer. Yeah. And I mean, thousands of them at, I mean, much larger, dis longer distances, you know, 80 plus yards. So I'm, I know I was confident with her, you know, making that sh four inch, <laughs> four inch gap shot. And uh, I just, I couldn't be more proud of you, babe. Thanks. Jared, come on in, man. We got Jared here. You don't want a guy crying on camera. Get over here, <laughs> Yeah, we man. do. That's You're looking it. at a girl with her first bowl. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. This is so awesome to be here with you. Uh, Jared Lyle is the CEO nice, of Muttonful. Nice work. Thank you. Great shot. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. Gosh. It's huge. Took a lot of teamwork to get this one, yes, didn't it? Yes, it did. Oh, no, you guys were so fun to hunt with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, this man. will go down and go down in the memories for a lifetime. Yeah, he's so cool. Yeah, this is a memory of a lifetime. I mean, it's. I just can't thank you enough, man. Yeah. We talk about going 70 miles on this trip. He was with us every mile of the way. Sure and, was. And John Makoff was too, actually. He, his uh, son. His birthday is actually today. 21st. So, yep. 21st birthday. He couldn't miss it. So we actually flew home. So this was the only day he wasn't with us. And uh, this bull is definitely, yep. definitely in spirit with John right now. He's here in spirit, right? Yeah, for he sure. Is. Huh? I just, so he's all heavy and like, yep. that's so awesome right there. I, I mean, like look this. at the body on this thing. <laughs> you I mean, guys into protein? Yeah, right. <laughs> got some now. Look at this base on this guy. It kind of grows weird. Yeah, he's got, Did a, you see that? he's got an interesting pedicle on that right side. It, it kind of grows like, like this one sits on his head right here and it kind of, this one sits kind of forward. No, he definitely has a damaged pedicle on that side. Yeah. Really unique. Yeah, now you're talking. And you're making me damn happy with that time. Right. Okay. We're doing it. <laughs> Are you really? Oh, yeah. Have you ever sailed? No. <laughs> Don't watch the movie Adrift. Yeah, you're like the fifth person to say that. <laughs> Assive compared to the carrier. I've got this front leg taken off, so. <clears throat> Just like so. Big bird. <laughs> Woods? Well, it's mostly my fingers doing it. Yeah. This is not really me. I got it, Brady. You can run the camera. Okay. Boom. One down. Boom. Yeah. Yes. Urgh. Protein. Protein. Yes. 
That is some awesome meat right there. It's as organic as it gets. We've got a lot more of that. Much meat. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing like a deer, right? Man, babe, I am so proud of you feeding the fam like this. Tom and Jerry and Barry gonna get to try elk. Thank you so much for your support and if you want to join the bow hunting family hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications to be one of the first to see our new videos posted. If you're new to our channel check out our other videos we have over 70 bow hunts that I think you'll enjoy. And if you'd like to keep up with us daily make sure you go over to Instagram and give us a follow there where we post every single day and it's always outdoor related.